Hey, good afternoon, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B., the casual comic guy here. And today we are going to go over Savage Slabs. That is, slabs I have in my collection that are Conan, Red, Sonia, or otherwise Barbarian themed. And this is a video I've been wanting to do again for a while. When I first launched my channel, I had no idea what I was doing. I made a video that had some Conan Slabs. I've gotten more since then. But it's rough. Not that I'm super smooth now or that everything I do is perfect. Far from it. But... That one freezes a lot. It's just, uh, it's a bad video. So I wanted to do it again. Hopefully do it better. Hopefully give you guys a better look at what I have and what I've added. Um, at the time of this filming, I still have three other slabs out. Uh, two are Conan, one's Red Sonia. So I got three more Savage slabs on the way back. Well, on the way out. They're not graded yet or in grading, but they're on their way there. So we're going to start out with the newest requisitions. So of course we saw this earlier. This is um, a 9.4. This is Atlas mm -hmm. Comics, The Barbarians, featuring Iron Jaw and Andrax. Okay, so got that in a nice 9.4. Just a great Atlas Comics. And really cool classic cover. I, uh, you've heard me say it before. I love those old 70s covers. They're just, they're just awesome. Okay, then we're going to go with the other new one I got last week. So this is Red Sonia, Lucio Perillo, the Virgin Variant, uh, Indiegogo exclusive, Mel Avon Obin and Mike uh, Carey Story, Mike Ruby Art, Lucio Perillo cover. Again, just a beauty. And we're going to get into the ones you guys haven't seen in a bit. And... Of course, this one last week too, Lucio Perillo Virgin Variant. And this was another new one added to the collection. Nice 9.8 on that as well. Then we're going to go with a little Red Sonya 1 action. Now, I still want to get a Marvel Feature 1, the second series with Red Sonya done. So I, that's still on my to do list. Happy with this 9.4 grade. This book. I actually bought raw off eBay and was able to, I pressed it, got it, well, I didn't press it myself. I got it pressed and cleaned and uh, sent it in and got a 9.4, so I was pretty happy with that. All right, of course, um, Roy Thomas and Clara Noto story, Frank Thorne cover and art. Then, one of my favorite new Conan artists, and that's uh, Mamad Azrar. And this was a sketch variant. I bought this slabbed off eBay, the 9.8. But just a beautiful sketch cover by Mawad Azrar. And just um, an absolutely brilliant artist, in my opinion, and one of the best that's going today. And I'm not a big signature guy, but Mawad Azrar is one, one signature I'd like to get on a slab and get a signature series. He's just an incredible talent. I just think... We're going to be hearing from Mamad Azrar for a while. And if not, we really should be. Uh, this is another favorite. This one I have in a 9.6. This was the one per store variant, I believe. And this was Arnold Schwarzenegger, Conan the Barbarian number one, the 2019, just like the last one from, uh, from the new series. So I mean, everybody knows this. Everybody's seen this picture a thousand times. But it's a brilliant cover. I love it. Absolutely amazing. Usually I don't go for photo covers. That's an exception. Then we have from one of the best series Marvel's ha Marvel has going is Savage Avengers. This series has just been fantastic. Uh, just the characters blend together so nicely. The writing's been good. Uh, Greg D Dugan's story, Mike Diodato art, and uh, Lino Francis U cover. So this is uh, Savage Avengers 1. And this, there's several covers. I should get some more of these in, in uh, slabs. This one's a 9.4. And I bought this one slabbed. I got a good deal on this. I only got it for 25 bucks from somebody. So that wasn't, it wasn't not going to come home with me for $25. All right. So this, before I show it, 
Probably one of my all time favorite covers in the history of covers. This cover is just absolutely amazing. It's an iconic Conan cover featuring an iconic character that was reimagined by Roy Thomas and Barry Windsor Smith and Frank Thorne. And, and of course, this is Conan the Barbarian number 24, the first full appearance of Red Sonia and also her on the cover. And this is actually my favorite armor of hers, even though it was the most short-lived, was this full chainmail shirt. And um, I just thought that looked better than the chainmail bikini. That was always my favorite um, Red Sonia attire. And um, it still is to this day. I still think nothing beats this original, um, original look. So there we go. And of course, if you got issue 24, you can't not have... Issue 23, which was the first appearance of Red Sonia in Cameo on the last page. Okay, got this in a 6.0. Nice mid-grade for this old book. And uh, it just presents beautifully. It presents well above a 6.0. Just a great old book. Great cover. And you can't beat this original run of Conan the Barbarian. Nothing's ever been better. Uh representing Conan to me than this run and it, I don't think it'll ever be any different uh, except for the original Howard stories but those aren't comics okay so speaking of Howard stories this is an adaptation of one of my favorite Howard stories this on this cover it's called Night of the Frost Giants but the original story is called The Frost Giant's Daughter and I love this cover I just love the depiction and Marvel was doing this a while back in the 70s on their titles where they'd have this frame and they would have the art break the frame. And I just think it's amazing. Just a beautiful Barry Windsor Smith cover and a classic tale. Anyone that's a Conan fan knows this story. And absolutely amazing. So that was 16. And this was a slab I bought that was a PGX slab. So, of course, I instantly had it cracked, pressed clean, and sent to CGC because I wasn't going to have any PGX. Um, it could just not because I have anything against them. It's just everything I had at that time was CGC, and I'm kind of anal about everything fitting. I've gotten a little better. I got a couple CBCSs, and, but I knew I had to crack it because I knew I could at least bump it up half a grade, which I did. In the PGX, it was 5.0. After a press and clean, I got it as a 5.5. And that is Conan the Barbarian, issue 4. Just a great Barry Windsor Smith cover again. All right, Conan, uh, woman, and the spider, and just absolutely beautiful. Again, 5.5. Presents way better than a 5.5. Some of these I have in mid-grade, and honestly, they present way higher and kind of boggles my mind that they're mid-grade and not higher. And last, for now, and I'll do add-ons when, when I get more slabs. We'll do little slab uh, reveals. Uh, one of my, my all-time grails, and um, my wife helped me get this year, well, last year, was Conan the Barbarian number one. Probably my all-time favorite comic cover. Just bar none. You know, this in issue 24. Just give me a day and it's hard to choose which one's my favorite. They're both incredible. This is amazing. Oh, this is a classic. It's probably going to be this one. It's just started it all in comics. Started it all for me as a young kid and just got my imagination going. This book came out the year I was born, so I didn't discover it actually for quite a while. All right, so this is a 50-year-old book. I'm 50 years old. All right, almost 51 years old now, so there we go. So 6.0, Conan the Barbarian, number one. And you just can't beat it. All right, Roy Thomas story, of course. Roy Thomas wrote the first 115 issues of this. Barry Windsor Smith and Dan Adkins art. Uh, Barry Windsor Smith cover. And also the first appearance of Colors in this in Cameo. So got a little bit of everything in this. First appearance of Conan in comics, first appearance of Cullen comics. So that is my Savage Slabs. Just wanted to go through those again, maybe reiterate, reiterate with everyone what I have and just show them off and just enjoy them. 
I don't take them out as often as I would like to and just look at them. Uh, I can look at Conan slabs all day, Red Sonia slabs all day, any Barbarian ones. They're just absolutely beautiful to me, just works of art. Uh, I don't care if it would be a $5 cover that I slabbed. As long as art means something to me, I will. it'll be slab worthy. Someone else may not slab it, this guy will. Um, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at the slabs. I really enjoyed showing them. And until next time, guys, always, always keep it casual.